Hi and welcome to this very first edition of the weekly Daydream VR News Flash here on Daydream District. Starting from today, I will give you a weekly update every Monday on what's new on our favorite mobile VR platform, which is Daydream, tell you what are the newest apps, the newest games, and in general about the latest developments of Daydream VR. So if you want to stay in the know and be up to date about Daydream VR, this is the show to tune in and we start right now. Hi, my name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District. Now, if this is your first time here, go and find that subscribe button if you want to know about the latest and greatest about Daydream VR. With this important information out of the way, let's start with the news flash of the first week of 2017. Last week, Google has introduced new Daydream ready phones and a new Daydream headset, the Huawei VR. On their blog, Google announced four new Daydream ready phones, which are the ZTE Accent 7, the upcoming Asus Zenfone AR, the Huawei Mate 9 Pro, and the Porsche Design Huawei Mate 9. Let's have a short look at them now. First of all, there's the ZTE Accent 7. I know that some members of the Daydream District community have been eagerly waiting for this one. The ZTE Accent 7 is a powerful yet very affordable phone which you can get for only $399 new from Amazon right now, affiliate link in the description below. That is great news for anyone who wants to hop on the Daydream bandwagon because now Daydream became much more affordable. Then there is the Asus Zenfone AR. This phone will only be available from the second quarter of 2017, but it is definitely a phone we can look forward to. Next to being Daydream ready, it also features the Tango sensors which allow it to sense death, which is needed to run augmented reality applications. However, Google made it clear that there is no interplay between Daydream and Tango. Anyways, this is going to be an interesting phone, especially since it features the latest cooling technology, which should help it not to overheat as fast as the Pixel does. And finally, we have two phones from Huawei, the Mate 9 Pro and the Porsche Design Mate 9. Both feature WQHD display and the latest high silicon Kirin 960 processor. The phones are flagship devices of Huawei and positioned in the high price segment. You could get the Mate 9 Pro for around $900 on Amazon and it got very positive reviews so far. The Porsche model, which got even better specs than the Mate 9 Pro, is priced around $1500, so probably not many of us would opt for this. Now on top of those new Daydream ready phones, we also learned about a new Daydream headset, which is fantastic news for those who would like to have another option next to the Daydream View. As opposed to Daydream View, the Huawei headset features an adjustable focus wheel, so people do not need to wear glasses while in VR, but could simply adjust focus. I'm already very much looking forward to try the Huawei VR and see how it stacks up against the Daydream View. In general, we can look forward to lots of different headsets coming to Daydream VR and I believe this is a big advantage that the Daydream platform has over all the other VR platforms that will lock you in into a certain headset that you are stuck with. So it will be very interesting to have this device. As we can tell now already, it does seem to have quite a few advantages over the Daydream View. For example, the uh, focus adjustment wheel where people who need to wear glasses don't need to wear glasses anymore and also the FOV, the field of view, is a bit bigger than that of the Daydream View. So we need to wait for the pricing and then we can directly compare the two models. Another thing that we do in this news flash, we look at all the new releases for Daydream VR that came in the last week. So now we're going to look at the releases for the first calendar week of 2017. First of all, there's Coloring VR. In Coloring VR, you lay back and enjoy a relaxing session of coloring some pictures in VR. The app lets you color one picture for free, but if you want to have access to all the templates, you will need to spend two bucks. It is a simple app which might appeal to people who want to find a very soothing and relaxing activity in VR. But without a doubt, the biggest launch of last week was VTime. VTime lets you chat with your friends or with total strangers in exotic VR locations and if you follow this channel closely you know that this app rocks. 
Vitam was available on Google Play in early access since end of December, which all of you who follow me know, but since last week Daydreamers can also find it in the official Daydream Exploration app. Vitam allows you to first create an avatar to your liking and then choose one of 12 really cool locations to meet people in VR. Those locations range from boardrooms for business discussions to more exotic places like a space station, a moving train or a fully equipped TV studio. On top of that, you can record and broadcast your chats to other users, which will even make this a great tool for virtual podcasts, interviews and panel discussions. So VTime is indeed a great app and I'm very happy to tell you that in the very near future I'm going to interview one of the VTime team members here on Daydream District, completely in VTime, in virtual reality, we're going to do this interview and you will see this interview very soon here on Daydream District, so stay tuned. I can say that VTime is easily my favorite app for Daydream VR right now and it feels like directly out of the channel bible, Ready Player One, which I introduced to you last Friday. This feels like the future of social interaction but don't take my word for it, simply download it for Daydream right now, it's free and check it out for yourself. So VTime is definitely a great start for this social VR which is going to emerge more and more and it's going to be very exciting to see how VTime can establish it itself against the big players in social like for example Facebook because those big social networks they will definitely move into VR as well very very soon. Facebook, which owns Oculus, is working on that right now and is going to be very, very tough competition. Let me tell you how I imagine Facebook VR to be like. Instead of your Facebook profile where you tell people about yourself, you're going to have a Facebook Hope in VR. Now this place, you can create it however you imagine your dream home to be like. It could be like a huge house with a great home theater setup. It could be a cool studio apartment over the rooftops of New York City. It could be anything you imagine and you can build it yourself. You will be able to put any kind of beautiful furniture and just make it your home. Now, whenever you're online, your avatar is going to materialize in that home, in your Facebook home. And if you want to hang out with your friends, you either visit their homes or you invite them over to your place. Then you will be able to hang out with them in VR, in your home or in their home or in any other cool place which will be in the virtual Facebook world and you'll be able to watch, watch a movie together, play video games together, listen to music together or do any kind of social activity that you simply come up with in this moment. I'm very much looking forward to this future and I believe it's going to be awesome. And Facebook can, and I'm sure they will, make lots of profit in this virtual world by selling you some virtual furniture, for example, or virtual clothes, or virtual gadgets. Or they will even be able to allow you to make money in this VR world by allowing you to craft these gadgets that you sell to other users on the Facebook platform and they will be the middleman and earn commission for everything they sell in this virtual world. So it's going to be a complete new economy, a complete new economy in this virtual world. So this is how I believe Facebook VR is going to look like in the future and I'm very much looking forward to it. Now probably in a couple of years I'm going to play back exactly this video on my virtual channel and will tell you, told you so. That's it for this very first edition of the weekly Daydream VR News Flash. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think of this new format and stay tuned until tomorrow because we're going to have a Tuesday weekly giveaway and I'm going to give away 5 copies of Riftcat Rich. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up and of course if you haven't subscribed to Daydream District yet and would like to keep up to date about everything Daydream VR, subscribe now.